Hello everyone and welcome to my elven mega base. Come on inside, it's nice and cozy and warm in here. There's so much to explore, just uh, don't look over there. Or, or over there. That's not finished either. I might have some work to do. It's Bits and Bobs day everyone. I kind of miss when YouTubers used to do like a Bits and Bobs episode and they, they literally title it that. I feel like that's not as much of a thing anymore. It kind of still is on Hermitcraft, but in, in like the wider Minecraft community. I just, you know, I miss jumping all over the place doing a bunch of stuff. Now, I'll be honest, my basement in this mega base reflects my real life basement a little bit, which is uh, partially finished. You know, the storage room would be like my office, beautiful finished room. And then the room next to my office looks like this. It's an unfinished room. There's there's not even gyp rock or flooring, it's just concrete. <laughs> so, um, you know, I like it. It's got a certain charm to it. While an unfinished basement is okay, an unfinished upstairs where our guests visit us is less okay. So let's finish it. First, I'm gonna need a few materials. And less skeletons. Thank you. First part of this project should be pretty easy. It's just a basic cleanup job. Just going to kind of divide up what I already have so that we can kind of hide our unfinished basement just a little bit. Yeah, this is definitely better. Kind of. And it does look like a transition into a basement. You know, it's just, it's not as grand and it's under the stairs and it works. Now for um, this room. <laughs> I think this is gonna be a little bit of a cover up job. And I think what that means is I'm just gonna make a sneaky little wall right here so you can't quite see it. There we go, yeah. Bits and bobs. Much cleaner somehow. This definitely feels a lot more put together now. I'm happy with it, very happy. And now I'd like to move on to a different uh, bit of the base. The village, again. <laughs> There are a couple of structures around the village, such as this one, that need to go. These are a part of the old original village that was here, and I don't want them anymore. I'm also not really trying to do the classic like village transformation where you just take the builds as they are and straight up transform them. That is what I kind of did in some of the places, but I'd like a little bit more freedom for the rest of the finishing touches on the village. So all of these old foundations, they gotta go. Much nicer without that there. Yep, that'll be good. I guess that makes now a good time to talk about the next topic I wanted to discuss, which is, you know, when do I call this finished? <laughs> I think we can all agree that right now it's not really finished, but it also, it's kind of finished. It's nearly there, basically. I mean, this this is a this is a pretty finished base. There's a couple of interior rooms and a couple of things around the village, but nothing serious. Everything past here, in my opinion anyway, is all bonus points. This season, I decided to build a base out of what is my favoritest theme in the whole entire world. I guess favoritest isn't a word, but um, <laughs> it's the best theme in the world, and that is Elven. I just love fantasy themes, and Elven really brings it all together for me. I just love all of the details that I can get in, and I could build in this style very easily for probably a decade. I mean, I could picture this castle and the village being done, and then doing a bunch of ships, and then kind of expanding expanding the fleet out towards the Guardian Farm, and then expanding into this forest over here, and doing other things, connecting to Corallis over there. There's just, you know, an infinite amount of ideas, and that's the really cool thing about playing a sandbox game, I suppose. I'd be curious to know what you guys' thoughts are on when you actually finish your build. I mean, I guess it's a pretty easy thought if the only thing that you're building is a house. Like this blacksmith right here, this has been finished 
for a while. This is a great little blacksmith. It's got all its details. It's got a rough interior. It's the entrance to my mine. I suppose you could call this part unfinished. But still, <laughs> I've been calling it finished for quite some time. But as a part of the entire world, well, that's not quite finished. And it's a little bit more blurry of a line, in my opinion. I guess I'm bringing this up at this point because, well, I'm mostly in the stages of this build where we are literally just finishing the base. <laughs> Gone are the days in season nine for me of the ginormous like plans of dirt. Everything is looking pretty polished now and it's just those stages of the video where you're putting in the finishing touches. For me, this has always been the hardest part of any build, but I suppose it is the most rewarding when it's finally all said and done and all of the details are in throughout this entire mega base. Oh, that'll be a beautiful day. Now, um, speaking of details, let's get back to work on the interior. Starting with this mess of a hallway. This has been a mess for too long. Let's, let's fix it. Let's fix it. All right, a very simple but effective back entrance way is now in place. So when we look through this grand hallway now, we see an ender chest, which is not the prettiest, but it is very practical because I do use this entrance way up and down and through the village quite a lot. For my next order of business, I've set up in this wing of the mega base. This is something I've marked out as a potential living area, study, and also plants and potions room. I'm so excited to work on this one, but I think I'm gonna save it for last. Let's work on the two other ones first, starting with maybe this living area. I have to admit the first thing that I'm kind of noticing is I'm not really feeling the height in here. I've given myself five blocks, which feels a little bit low for the size of the entire base. So I was thinking maybe I could drop this floor down to give myself a more grand and sunken in living room. I mean, it can't hurt to try it, right? Probably one of my favorite things about building in Minecraft is the fact that you could just, you know, try something. <laughs> if you don't like it, just do it again. It's just blocks. So far, I think I'm really liking that. Just the two blocks is gonna make a big difference to this whole room. All right, mission sink my living room down definitely was a success. I've kept the study up on this level, but I also sunk the upper level of my potions room. I think it looks better like this. Now it's time to actually add furniture and I actually have an idea. I've had a certain um, pair of axolotls in buckets since the start of the season. So for like nearly two years, <laughs> <laughs> but not quite nearly two years, but way too long. These guys used to live in my little tree house at Spawn. And I think I would like to build them a proper little aquarium in the living room. I feel like it would be very calming. And this wall back here is a little bit awkwardly shaped anyways. It's a bit curvy. So I thought maybe this would be the perfect place for the aquarium. A few moments later. I've just thought of a downside. If I do this here, then I don't have any windows because all of these are interior walls. So maybe we don't do this here. I mean, I don't know how this is gonna look from the outside, but I feel like from the inside, that could totally be some windows. We get a great view of Pearl's base from here and also the river. And from the outside, I think that's actually not the worst. Okay, change of plans. <laughs> Trial and error, everybody. Trial and error. All right, I do wanna have an aquarium somewhere though, so maybe this little corner over here could serve as our aquarium instead. 
All right, little axolotls, here you go. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm gonna fill it all out with water. I like it. <laughs> I feel like that's the perfect little tank for my two little axolotls. Now, all I need is a lot more detail in there for them. Maybe some coral or something? Don't worry, I think I know just the place. Here we go, coral reef. Obviously, we're gonna go with some pink and blue. Oh, I forgot how much I love decorating tanks like this. I don't wanna put too much stuff, but hopefully it'll be just enough so that they feel at home. There we go, axolotl tank complete. Not accurate to what real life axolotls need, I am sure, but you know, it's cute. All right, now that my main features are in, my tank, my sunken flooring, and my wall of windows, it's time to actually space plan out this interior. I'm trying to kind of plan this interior how you would plan a real life interior, if that makes sense. Like we have a path of travel here, and we don't really wanna put furniture in front of that. We need to be able to come down here and go in here and come down and come straight down this way into this room. So we don't wanna block these paths of travel. They're kinda like hallways. We could put some runner rugs or something and maybe some paintings on the wall, but nothing big and bulky. Maybe actually, just to help us out, we'll actually go ahead and do a little bit of furniture over here. I love a good little table like this. This is the type of table you put all your Christmas decorations on. <laughs> when that time of year comes around anyway. Next up, we've got some incredibly average looking couches, <laughs> but they're pink couches, so they get extra points. God, I actually really suck at doing Minecraft furniture. <laughs> ah, let me have another go. Well, there's definitely a part of my brain that thinks this is better than the pink. <laughs> the crimson adds just a little pop of color and you could totally sit here and there's a fireplace. We're gonna pretend that this is like a propane or electric fireplace, not a wood burning. It will make it make sense, okay, somehow. It's fantasy, it's fine. I'm thinking the next thing that would tie this together is a rug. So we need some cyan wool. Ooh, that would go good with the fireplace. Not seeing a lot of cyan wool though, so I guess we're re-dyeing some yellow. Just remembered how difficult it is to dye wool. Ooh, pearl's building. <laughs> Hold on, aim. Oh, she moved. Got her! <laughs> Pearl punch part two. <laughs> Got her! And we're back to dyeing wool individually. Luckily, I don't need much carpet. Oh, this is so cozy, I think. Now I just need the rest of the details on the fireplace and the sitting area in front of the windows. All right, it may not be the flashiest of interiors for a living room, but I really like the little details that I've added in here. It's nice and cozy, and I think that's everything that a living room really should be. Now, on to the study. This one should be pretty simple, I think. Little study area complete. Now it's time for the grand finale, the potions and plants room. This room needs probably the most work of all. So I'm going to start off by simply cleaning up the room. And for that, I'm gonna need to go get my prismarine. When it comes to cleaning up this room, I don't want to lose its current gorgeous circular charm. So instead, I'm gonna go along the edges with a bunch of this brick and hopefully accent the circular shape. Oh, and also fill in ceiling. We're gonna have some ugly torch placements for a minute. 
nobody mind. Oh dear. Okay. If I can't see it, not a problem. So far, that's definitely a lot cleaner. I like the idea of having a diamond and maybe some amethyst crystals right in the middle. Unfortunately, not enough end rods for this whole idea, but hopefully that'll kind of get the point across. Yeah, just needs, you know, <laughs> way more light. Well, it's a good point to start from at least. Now it's really just the stairs, and then I think I can start on the rest of the details. Ooh, how am I gonna space these out? Let's see, starting from there. All right, little pig. It's time to actually work on the interior. No more procrastinating this room. A potions and plants room. And I wanna start with a cauldron right in the center. I don't know if this will be what I actually end up with as in like four Minecraft cauldrons, but um, it'll be something similar. That could be a placeholder. And then I want the rest of this space to feel very whimsical. So I'm going to use a lot of these different nether blocks in here because uh, you know, I think they look whimsical. Of course, I do want the space to be actually practical, so I'm going to put a cauldron with water there, and then I'm going to have a place to grow a little bit of nether wart in this corner. The best part about doing this interior must be the fact that I finally have random crafting tables in lots of places, so I don't have to just like place them everywhere. It's much less of a mess. Okay, let's kind of close all of that in. Yeah, that's pretty good. The next thing I think of when I think of a whimsical witch's potion room is a fireplace. So I'm gonna use a bunch of this deep slate because I would like a darker colored fireplace. And I think maybe in this corner right here could potentially be perfect. But I think instead of going for the conventional kind of square and straight fireplaces, I want it to be a little bit more wonky. From a practical standpoint, I don't, really know how I'm going to achieve wonky, but something like that that's roughly straight but still has lots of bends will probably do it. Maybe instead of a conventional campfire, I'll go for a soul campfire in here. Just like so. I think this wonky little fireplace actually has a lot of potential. Cute. Okay, that is some of the main features that I wanted in. Now it's time to bring the atmosphere to this room. And this is the part that as a YouTuber, I really struggle to record. It's the main reason that I end up putting off interiors because I could sit here and like get really into where exactly I place each individual barrel. But sometimes to watch that can be well, a little bit boring of a process. It, it can even be boring for me to edit it, <laughs> to be honest, because I just sit here silently and go, eh, is it there? No, 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 maybe it's there. Do, do I put one here? No, maybe that's too much. And it's, yeah, it's, <laughs> this is not ideal. But I'm going to try and let you in on my process, or at least, you know, some of my thought process here. First of all, I know that I want to have a planter box sort of up here. And so I wanna organize some trapdoors or maybe even some slabs somewhere on that. Also, I know I just talked about crafting tables. We're gonna need one in here. So maybe over here, we'll have a workstation with actual brewing stands. Maybe some cupboards or a bookshelf over here. It feels like this is probably the perfect type of room to display this skulk stuff. Yeah, that's just creepy enough. Obviously, this now feels like the perfect place for some potion brewing. I'm thinking lots of candles, roots, and bookshelves also really go with the decorative vibe. Everyone. 
the potions room is complete and I think it turned out so well. It's so whimsical in here with all the different particles. I love all the leaves. I love the fact that it's actually functional. I mean, you've got cauldrons, you've got nether wart. You could totally store stuff in all these barrels to brew potions. I don't, I don't really need to, but if I did, I sure could. <laughs> In general, I've tried to make like a magical sort of plants area over here. And I just, I really like the way that it looks. I love all the floating candles, the soul fire. It came together well. And I think it is a grand finishing room for this mega base. Because that's right, everyone. This mega base is officially done. I mean, I finished the whole thing. Of course, as we talked about at the beginning, there's always gonna be random little things that I can pick at. But right now we've got everything from the grand hall, to the map room, to the library, to our head dungeon, to a living room and a potions room. There's so much to explore in this mega base and I'm so proud of it. Oh, it's nice to get outside and get some fresh air. <laughs> Anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching. Anyways, everyone, thank you so much for watching. I am going to Las Vegas next week to meet a bunch of the hermits and compete in MCC. So follow me along on Twitch if you'd like to see that or Twitter and Instagram to see some different photos of us hermits in real life. Also, no decked out runs in this video. So all of my decked out runs are going to be posted on my second channel. I'll try to remember to link to that down below as well. Anyways, as always, everyone, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.